All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, so here he is, UFC light heavyweight champion times two, future Hall of Famer, a man you know as well as anyone, DC, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is one of those talents that when you see him for the first time, you understand that he is something special. He has a very strong mind unbelievable skill set and an ability to rise to the occasion. He did it from the moment he first stepped from the octagon as a very young fighter to his long championship reign. Some of the victims on John Jones' resume is unbelievable to have beaten that many UFC champions over the course of career. John Jones truly is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. Skill for skill, one of the best fighters you will ever see, and very loyal when it comes to his team. He has been with Mike Winklejohn and Greg Jackson since day one. John Jones trying to add to arguably the greatest mixed martial arts legacy the sport has ever seen here and now tonight. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Four years apart with similar height, but big differences in reach. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 21 wins, eight losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, the And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA! Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Nice punch by the Iceman. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, misses with the jab. Back and forth we go! Oh, he slips there and then counters beautifully. His coaches are certainly gonna like that. They've been begging him to take advantage of his reach edge. And he certainly did that. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Lower John, 
now starting to show signs of swelling. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Johnson. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he will try to chase down that thing. Hook lands. Oh, straight right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And they clinch. Strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. And just like that, the fight is over. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by...